2018 CETA Visa Hatchback Review The Good Points of CETA Visa Hatchback Sharp Styling Practical Interior Lots of kit Great they are driving The Bad Points of CETA Visa Hatchback Interior Quality Top spec car is pricey. Need to attend for more engines. No more SC or street. Since it turned out first launched from the UK back in 1984, 5.4 million seat Ibiza is discovered homes worldwide, plus it's the Spanish brand's biggest selling model. Enter the fifth generation seat of Visa. In accordance with the VW Group's all new small car platform called MQBA0, that could also underpin new versions with the Volkswagen Polo and Audi A1, along with the Citroën crossover. Search used Cita Visa cars on the market on. What's a Cita Visa want to live with? Here is our long term test. Rivals for that new Visa are lots of. For example the usual suspects inside the form from the Ford Fiesta and Vauxhall Casa, and also Peugeot 208, Renault Clio and Skoda Fabia. Youthful style but nevertheless practical. Seat industry is overwhelmingly younger than other super mini buyers by about several years according towards the brand, and yes it's simple to grasp why with sharp design neat proportions and eye-catching design details. The Avisa appears to be a shrunken Leon, and that's there is no bad thing, with sharp creases around its bodywork and distinctive LED lights featuring on some models. We think it's one on the finest looking super minis on the market. That doesn't mean practicality has become ignored, quite contrary. This fifth generation of Visa is currently only available inside a five door body style. Demand has fallen for three door super minis, therefore, the Avisa SC is dropped through the range. It's exactly the same story for small estate cars, the street estate proceeded to go in favor in the Arona. In fact, this Avisa is 2mm shorter compared to car it's replaced. But seat boasts its more interior space and boot room previously thanks into a 60 mm boost in the wheelbase. This equals enough space for four adults to install comfortably, and also their luggage in the boot that's 63 liters bigger it was previously. The design is more restrained compared to outside, nonetheless it's functional and extremely easy to become accustomed to even after a brief time period of time spent when driving. Interior quality trails a few of its rivals, nevertheless it feels like it'll last, and yes it comes having a host of a technology that will entice those who love gadgets. CETA Visa Review, Frugal Engine Range Buyers are well catered for with regards to engines, with familiar 1.0-liter 3-cylinder units available within a choice of 75. 95 and 115 horsepower forms. The latter two are turbocharged, while a hotter 150 horsepower 1.5 liter TSI petrol is additionally available. Strong economy is par for that course with all of models returning over 50 miles per gallon, with low CO2 emissions overall. Diesels will likely be available further later that may no doubt interest company car drivers or those traveling longer distances frequently. For most though, petrol power is going to be in favor, especially about. They're nippy and frugal, yet also refined, with slick manual gearboxes standard on all models, having a DSG automatic on the 115 horsepower 1.0 TSI. On the move. The Avisa seems to blend driving fun and comfort well indeed. It's as in your house on a tight, twisty road because it is in the outside lane with the motorway. See to Visa specs, tech and equipment. A familiar pair of models from the Avisa range, 
starting off with S and moving up through say the expected best seller, say technology, sporty FR plus much more luxurious Zelens at the top on the range. All models come that has a generous amount of kit, although S is going to be a bit too sparse for a lot of, and SEAT launched the Avisa by incorporating attractive finance deals to entice customers, including the free insurance offer on some models. 2018 Rear Seat Belt Recall In May 2018, a recall was issued on Seat Avisa, Seat Arona and Volkswagen Polo models about the left rear seat belt unintentionally releasing. Such an event may occur during quick lane changes so when the center rear and left rear seat are occupied at a similar time. A redesigned belt lock fixture will probably be fitted in the recalls. Cita Visa FR Sportiest Option, Cupra Visa en route. While Cespec will likely be a bulk zeller, FR trim is specially attractive with an increase of aggressive looks for the Avisa's youthful character. With the launch of Seat's standalone Cupra brand, expect a Cupra Visa to be shown considering VW has got the Polo GTI, Peugeot the 208 t by Peugeot Outsport. Renault Sport contains the Clio Turbo and Ford's got the Fiesta Street, there's certainly a spot within the market for a sportier seat. The Verdict The seat of Visa is growing up. It looks fantastic, carries a well-specified interior with genuine space for four, and also a comprehensive collection of frugal yet nippy engines to select from. What's more? It's keenly priced and supplies one in the best drives within the super money class will no longer does the Ford Fiesta get it sewn up. Cita Visa Review 3 1.0 liters pet rolls power the majority of the Visa range. Warm 1.5 TSI Evo easily obtainable in FR. Frugal diesel comes later. Seat of Visa performance is provided by a number of petrol engine options, with diesel coming further later. Kicking the Avisa petrol engine range off can be a 1.0 liter three cylinder pushing out 75 horsepower and 95 newton meters of torque. It's the identical engine you'll find from the smaller Miss City car. It's likely to end up favored by people who rarely go out of town. It is going from 06 2 miles per hour in the leisurely 14.7 seconds, and features a 5 speed manual gearbox. Top speed is rated at 104 miles per hour, providing more power and satisfaction, and anticipated to be the most widely used engine, can be a turbocharged 1.0 liter TSI with 95 horsepower. Torque is rated at 175 newton meters, which is usually a noticeable leap within the non-turbo 1.0 MPI 75. This engine is usually a punchy performer, with the eager response from your throttle and also smooth power delivery. It's competent at reaching 62 miles per hour coming from a standstill in 10.9 seconds and works effectively with the slick shifting 5-speed manual gearbox. It's a lot more than comfortable within the motorway, and may even pull well up slight gradients without having to change down several gears. If you find yourself with a de-restricted German Autobahn, it'll continue to a premier speed of 113 miles per hour. If you need something using a bit more poke, there's a 115 horsepower from the same 1.0 TSI unit. This one is efficient at completing the 062 miles per hour sprint in 9.3 seconds, and can reach a premier speed of 121 miles per hour. It's a fantastic option for those regularly driving around the motorway as it has a 6 speed manual gearbox instead on the usual 5. In practice, it doesn't feel massively quicker as opposed to 95 horsepower engine, though, many that comes into how refined the engines are, you don't notice as it's so quiet. It registers quickly and responsively, though, and easily keeps track of faster moving traffic, on account of 200 Nm of torque offered by 2,003.
500 revolutions per minute. CETA Visa Manual and Auto Transmission Options All iBISES come which has a manual gearbox as standard and, whether it's a 5 or 6 speed transmission, it's great to use. The throw on the gear lever is nicely weighted and doesn't feel overly light like many super minis are likely to, and yes it falls easily at hand. It's one with the sweetest manual gearboxes you'll see in this segment, having a slick and precise action that doesn't seem like a chore make use of. A dual clutch DSG automatic is positioned on the 115 horsepower 1.0 TSI, which we're yet to sample. If it's as with other car applying this gearbox it's used through the entire VW group, then it'll likely be smooth and responsive and well matched for the higher powered Petrol engine. Can I buy a diesel seat of Visa? Yes, although not just yet. What we can say for certain, though, is the fact that there will be a selection of 1.6 liter TDI diesels with either 80 or 95 horsepower. It's likely a 5-speed manual gearbox will feature on both, that has a DSG option for the more powerful diesel. Which is the foremost Cita Visa to suit your needs. So far, we've driven both 1.0 liter TSI petrols, and both of them are very strong and willing performers. The 95 horsepower will suit most buyers the way it's just at your home on the motorway which is zipping out partying. The 115 horsepower model is extremely good though, which is the choice in the two in the event you spend a lot of your time on dual carriageways and motorways. You'll appreciate the sixth gear, allowing the Advisa to pay back down at higher speeds. Even so, the 95 horsepower definitely not struggles and is also rarely vocal, and it also is available across more on the range compared to the Fraunley 1.0 TSI 115. Feels just like a grown-up car. Excellent ride, but nevertheless fun. Steering is well weighted. With a brand new Ford Fiesta recently launched, the Avisa features a fight on its hands since the car from your blue oval is amazingly accomplished in terms of providing an exciting drive that's also compliant and relaxed when you need it to be. The Avisa does a superb job though, and feels quite similar towards the Fiesta in terms of offering impressive ride comfort and tidy handling. Through a number of bends, the Avisa feels composed with tight body control and well-weighted steering providing enough feedback with the driver to find out what's taking place beneath them. The steering isn't quite as communicative as being a Fiesta, nor as quick to reply to inputs, but this equals a less frantic, more planted feel about the road, that will likely attract those searching for something using a bit more balance. Selectable drive modes alter steering feedback and throttle response on FR models, switchable between comfort, Eco, Sport and Individual Modes What's the seat of Visa during town? In reality, more Evisa owners will probably be concerned with how easy it's to maneuver in the city than the amount of fun you should have a twisty country road, and also the good news is its compact dimensions lend it to very stress-free urban driving. Visibility is nice and also the steering is light enough to maneuver in and out of tight spaces with no trouble, while optional extras including parking sensors and cameras may help this even more. What about sportier FR models? If you specify a sportier looking to Visa FR, sports suspension and larger 17-inch alloy wheels come as standard, with 18-inch wheels at extra cost. This makes the Avisa even sharper making it possible for a sporty, involving drive that feels more akin to your Fiesta than regular i -bises. The upside is always that there isn't a massive compromise regarding ride quality, either. It still provides a well-balanced ride overall, just with slightly tauter control if you're driving that little extra enthusiastically. Dashboard is easy and user-friendly.
infotainment is great. Quality trails its rivals in places. Jump into the driver's seat on the Avisa therefore you notice the amount of more restrained it can be than its exterior styling. That's not necessarily a very bad thing, though, since it means it's simple and simple to get comfortable, while all from the controls are well suited and stress-free make use of. There is enough of adjustment from the seat and controls, and all of seats are supportive and cozy, specifically those found in spec models. What surprised us was just the amount of thigh support there is, that is a niggle of smaller cars with smaller seats. Simple home design, nonetheless it's an easy task to use. There's a full width little bit of trim through the dashboard which aims to provide some interest, but it really's only on high spec models where this features plusher looking materials in addition to grey plastic. There are a few quality question marks at the same time, with few soft touch materials found, even on top from the dash. A VW Polo this may not be, nevertheless it does still feel solidly constructed and like it'll last the life on the car. The way the leading controls within the center on the dash are positively slightly angled slightly for the driver can be a nice touch, though and also you feel similar to your sitting inside the car, as opposed to on it. It's a refreshing feel, and something that instantly enables you to feel more linked to driving it. Even the Fiesta can't offer this, using a loftier driving position that feels at odds while using driving experience. Touchscreen infotainment systems are standard along the Avisa range, these all are slick and an easy task to use. Opt for FR or Zlinth trim and you also were treated with a super slick 8.0 inch color screen that's very easy to operate, which is with an easy reach on the driver. Strong seat comfort. Suspension well controlled. Impressive sound insulation. When you first of all set eyes around the Avisa, you'd be forgiven for thinking it's a harsh riding car to fit its sharp looks. However, the seat of Visa has improved significantly compared together with the old car, and today provides a fantastic compromise between sportiness and comfort. We've tried the Visa in regular form with small alloys, higher profile tires plus more basic seats, together with a high-spec FR with sports suspension, upgraded 18-inch alloys and sports seats. We're very happy to report that comfort levels are high across the product range, with few compromises produced by going for that sportier version. Let's mention the regular car first, though. Seat Avisa Say Comfort In best-selling form, the Avisa can be an accomplished performer on the subject of comfort. Despite feeling more basic inside, Seat Comfort impressed us with plenty support over a lengthy test drive, as the combination of 16-inch alloy wheels and fatter tires meant it absorbed harsh bumps within the road perfectly indeed. It's firmer than something being a VW Polo or Kia Rio, but never jarring and doesn't get upset by bigger bumps. It should be the same story for entry-level S and higher spec Zillin trims, too. What around the FR? Even in the event you go for your sportier setup of FR trim, comfort levels are high. While sports suspension features, it's not noticeably firm or nevertheless soaks up bumps admirably. Adding 18-inch wheels on the mix means it could possibly become better unsettled, however it took a combination of bumps and imperfections to even suggest the Avisa might break a sweat. The seats found within the Avisa FR are particularly nice, with extra bolstering for greater support. They don't use a short base either, that you often discover in super minis. A long journey brought no discomfort whatsoever. Is there much noise to take on? Not in any respect. Three cylinder engines tend to make themselves known inside the cabin after you really rev them out, nevertheless the Avisa remains relaxed when you do this. 
Sure, you can hear gets hotter reaches higher revs, nonetheless it's not coarse also it doesn't upset the calm from the cabin. It's an identical story with wind and road noise, with only slight blustering about the angular door mirrors at speed. The optional 18-inch alloys do spice up some extra road rumble at speed, by road surface is a contributing element in this, too. All Ibises have decent haul of kit. Just prevent entry level S. Top spec models is usually packed with gadgets. The Cita Visa is less difficult to navigate than such as the Ford Fiesta or Vauxhall Casa, including things like just four trim levels, S, say, FR in Zillance. Standard Cita Visa hatchback equipment. Things kick off while using a Visa S, provided by 15 inch steel wheels, 5.0 inch grayscale touchscreen, infotainment system with Bluetooth, USB port, and aux in connection, electric front windows and door mirrors, air conditioning, automatic headlights. Front assist system with autonomous emergency braking. Remote central locking. Height adjustment for driver's seat. Step around best selling say with the following. 15 inch alloy wheels. Front fog lights with cornering function. LED daytime running lights and tail lights. Body-colored door handles and mirror casings. 5.0-inch color touchscreen for infotainment system. Leather leader, gear knob and handbrake. 60 hours 40 minutes split folding rear seats. The Avisa FR builds on this with 17-inch alloy wheels. For specific front and back bumpers with twin exhaust pipes and privacy glass. Gloss black door mirrors that fold electrically. 8.0 inch color touchscreen infotainment system with Satanov, full link featuring Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, voice control and DAB radio. C drive profile, switchable drive modes. Sports seats and flat bottom controls. Ambient interior lighting. Automatic wipers. Cruise control. Top spec of Visa Zillance has a generous level of kit, building on SAY and FR with 16 inch alloy wheels. Chrome window trim. Black Halcon Tarn upholstery. Front center armrest. Dual zone climate control. Front and rear electric windows. Keyless entry and ignition. Front and rear parking sensors with reversing camera. Cita Visa hatchback, optional extras. A choice of different alloy wheel designs may be added to various Avisa models. While there are many attractive metallic paint options to select from at expense. An appealing option would be the full LED headlamps with distinctive LED daytime running light signature for your outside, and also LED interior lighting to keep the theme, while different seats might be added inside, in addition to a panoramic sunroof. In relation to technology, the full link system might be added to same models, but only in case you also go to the navigation system, while there's a better beat sound system positioned on all but entry level trims. Wireless phone charging, the connectivity hub, is additionally available, additionally it boosts phone signal inside car. This is the sort of thing to entice company car drivers specifically, out of the box cruise control. Spend a extra money and adaptive cruise control is usually available. Finally, convenient features like parking sensors and cameras could be specified, at the same time a storage pack which adds a variable height boot floor and drawers underneath the front seats.
Useful circumstances to make driving easier can also be found about the options list, much like the convenience pack consisting of automatic lights and wipers with an auto dimming rear view mirror. Plenty of safety equipment as standard. 5 stars from Euro and Cap. Extra assistance tech could be added. Euro and Cap has awarded the CETA visa that has a top 5 a star rating. As standard, it has a suite of airbags, electronic stability control and emergency brake assist, tire pressure monitoring, hill hold control and front assist, seats term for autonomous emergency braking. There's additionally a multi-collision braking mechanism which holds for the brakes within the event of a rear end impact, while automatic warning lights flash under hard braking or even an incident. Few safety extras may be added in addition to adaptive cruise control, therefore you won't have the ability to specify items like blind spot monitoring and lane departure warning as if you can on something such as the Ford Fiesta or Citroen C3. Surprisingly spacious in the Avisa. Flexible, well-shaped boot. Not the brightest interior, though. The Avisa is very slightly shorter versus the car it replaced, but on account of an surge in the length with the wheelbase, there's a noticeable quantity of extra space inside cabin. That's also down to some wider body compared to old car, in addition to wider seats. There's enough space for four adults to suit in comfort, that has a generous level of headroom unless you're really tall. Most are going to be perfectly comfortable, though, however a passenger within the middle seat might notice the squeeze slightly. Best left for that kids, that's certain. It's very easy to access to on the five-door body style. There's decreasing interest in three-door super minis, hence the Avisa is only obtainable in this manner, that's useful for small families regularly utilizing the rear doors. Is the seat of Visa roomy enough to the family? Even opting for your sunroof doesn't eat into roof space, and it also adds additional light into your cabin, and that is very welcome, because the interior can seem to be quite dark. The boot is usually a generous 355 liters, which is a bit more generous than the majority of its rivals. Higher spec models come that has a variable height boot floor at the same time, to provide some extra flexibility. In relation to its extra storage, you can find big door bins, an abundance of cup holders plus some neat areas to hold bits and bobs. It's impressive for this kind of small car. Folding the trunk seats down is not hard. Expanding the load capacity from the Avisa to 823 liters. The Avisa is usually a compact car, so hardly any drivers will feel daunted by its size. On the road, it's very an easy task to place with good visibility, while parking is easy likewise due to flat sides and a lot of windows. Parking sensors and cameras is usually added to help maneuverability. But light steering and short overhangs, it's very simple to judge the size from the Avisa when parking in tight spots. Boot space can be a very generous 355 liters, which may be expanded to 823 liters by folding the trunk seats down. With the seats up, that boot space is actually in excess of a MK5 VW Golf offered, which shows just how much cars are becoming an adult. It's a square and usable size, though, though the loading lip is pretty high. The height could be adjusted on cars fitted that has a variable boot floor, giving a level loading area when the back seats are folded down.